curtain wall is a kind of wall that's usually made up of different panels as well as mullions. And these panels, in many cases, are made out of a glass looking material. With this building, we're going to have a curtain wall that goes around the perimeter of our building, as well as a couple of interior curtain walls that will better define some of these interior spaces. To begin drawing these curtain walls in, we'll once again use the wall command from underneath the architecture tab. Pick on the picture of the wall. On the type selector list, underneath curtain wall, make sure that storefront is selected. For height, since we're going around the outside first, make sure this goes up to level 5. That'll be the actual height. And there's also an option here called offset. Type in 2 feet for the offset. Once you've done that, where this grid line A crosses over this wall, you'll see it comes to a little X. Click. And then move over toward your right-hand side. Zoom in a bit. Click at the intersection of these two grids which is also the center of the column. And we can start to see this is the curtain wall, and here are the different mullions and individual panes of glass that make up this curtain wall system. Now, click again at the intersection of these two structural grids. At 1 and C, where those two cross each other, click. Come back out again, where 1 and A cross each other, I'm going to have you click, and then right here where this line crosses over this line here that makes up the wall, click again. By doing that, we've now placed a curtain wall all the way around the perimeter of our building. By setting the two foot offset, instead of drawing that curtain wall right along this line, it offset it two feet in this direction so that it would be around the perimeter but still falling around these grid lines. If we zoom back out again, I want to put another one right in this location and yet another one in this location here. So, zoom back in, execute the wall command, make sure storefront is checked, set that offset distance once again to be two feet. As far as the height, have this just go up to level two. We don't need it to go up as high because it's only going to apply to this floor. Pick the intersection of these two lines, and then pick the intersection of that, and hit escape a couple of times to get out of the command. Now we can always use our modification tools later to clean up this so that this will come over to this wall, and so that these two will come together at an intersection. Now do the exact same thing over here. Use the wall command. Make sure that this is level two, set an offset distance of two feet, and then draw from the intersection of that wall in the line and this wall in the line. And then hit escape a couple of times to once again get out of the command. Now to get a better look at what it is that we've drawn up to this point, select on default 3D view. And now you can see the curtain wall surrounding the outside of the building. And if you hold the shift key down on your keyboard, as well as hold the wheel down at the same time, you can then rotate this around and be able to see the curtain wall on the inside as well. One final thing, if we move down here to the bottom of the screen and on visual style where it says hidden line, change this to shaded, we'll be able to see the color of these individual panels that make up our curtain wall system. So curtain walls are drawn in in much the same way as a regular wall. Just execute the wall command, and then choose the appropriate curtain wall off of the list, and then pick each point that you'd like that curtain wall to be drawn in at, as well as setting the different options related to how high you want that curtain wall to be.